and now for this video we'll be putting together the valve gear. Now these can be pretty intimidating since there are a lot of very small parts like the rivets here, small screws, and all these little rods to go together. But if you take your time with it, it's really not as bad as it might seem. And a lot of kits actually don't even include them in the first place. So in some cases this may even just be a skippable video. But anyway, get on to it. Tools you'll need are a hard surface like the steel plate I've got here and the riveting tool which Bowser includes with their kits and then you'll also need a small flat blade screwdriver for these little screws here and then a hammer for tapping the rivet tool and getting those flared out. To start I'll put one of these rivets down on the plate here and then I'll take this rod, place it over the rivet, lay it down on that piece of steel, and then the part that goes here is the eccentric, so just set that down over the rivet. That's laying in place. So now, place the riveting tool over the end of the rivet, making sure it's totally centered on there. There's a little pin in the middle that lines up with the hole in the rivet. And then just gently tap that with the hammer. And then you should have a good flared out rivet. If it needs any more, you can always go back and do a little more at a time until it's just right. But what you want is to have these basically so they'll be about flat on there, but still allow free rotation of the parts. And then if you accidentally get it too tight, which is easy to do, since the rivets are brass, sometimes you can just kind of wiggle the parts around a little until it's freed up. That seems to be turning pretty well. So now I'll move on to the next rivet. So we've got another rivet on the plate. Take the same rod, but put the other end of it over it this time. And then take this piece here. that over the rivet. Once again get the tool centered on top of that and then gently tap it. And there's one section of the valve gear done. And the process for the rest of it is basically the same for each rod. Now right here I'm working on the other half of the same Valkyr assembly. As each joint is finished, another one can be started. In the case of this one, this um, rod here has three others that are riveted to it. But again, as long as you take your time with it, it's honestly not that hard to do. Then the last rod is this short one that goes to the cross head. And there's another half of the valve gear assembly finished. So now with the two halves of the valve gear assembled, they can be attached to the valve gear hanger. On some kits, um, you'll find that maybe there's a rivet here that's holding them all together. On other kits, you'll have a screw that goes through and then there'll be a small nut on the other side. But on this one, they actually directly threaded 
this part for the screw, so that makes it just a bit easier. And to start, I'm just going to clean this hole out a little bit to make sure the screw can go through easily. Okay, and it passes through just like that. And then since this part is not threaded, it goes on first, slides right onto there. And then take the other half here, and this is the part that's a little tedious, partly because I'm trying to get this on camera so I can hardly see what I'm doing myself. And now that's passed through there. Then while holding that in place, carefully screw that in with a small screwdriver. There we go, it's threading through now. And just keep on going. I usually tighten it and then back it off about a quarter to half turn. And then everything works nice and smoothly with that. So for this particular valve here, they designed it to hold a neutral position at all times. On some kits, the valve gear will instead be attached to a different part of the rod, like this hole down here, and then it moves with the actual timing, so you get the full motion, but even with this, you still get enough motion for it to look good. So now, just trim off the excess screw thread. This is brass, so you can do that with clippers. And then to make sure that doesn't back out at any time. Just get a dot of super glue onto the end of a wire or something. And then carefully put that onto the end of the screw. And now there's one side fully assembled to the hanger and ready to go. And now the valve gear can be assembled to the chassis. So to start, I'll just place it on there, and then grab each of these shorter rods on the front. There we go. Get those inserted into the upper hole of the cylinders. Make sure to do the same for this side. Now with that in place, the valve gear hanger can be mounted to the frame. Let's see, where's it? There it is. The screw hole is right there. This hanger has a slot so that you can move it back and forth a bit and make sure it's adjusted just right. So I'll put this one about here. That should be good. I can move that again later if needed. And for the eccentric, take this screw out, drop it through there. And retighten the screw. For this side, I usually put it just a little forward from where it needs to be, so then I can kind of uh, use pliers to turn it a little further until it's at the correct 15 degree angle or so. And right there is where it needs to be, so then I'll do the other side. Now for the right side, I do just the opposite and put it a little behind where it needs to be. So then again, so then once again, when I turn it with the pliers here, it won't loosen the screw as I do it. It'll remain tight. Then I can position that to the correct, um, again, 15 degree angle. 
I might, I might not be getting right on 15 degrees here, of course, but as long as it's close enough, that should be just fine in most cases. And now last, we'll be connecting the front part. On some kits, the valve gear may attach to the bottom of the crosshead. But on this one, it attaches to the middle using the same screw as the main rod. So I have to take that screw back out. Put that into the valve gear and crosshead. And then find a way to hold the main rod up while I retighten that. All you've got to do is get it started and then tighten it, at least as much as needed. Again, you don't want to get these things too tight or it'll restrict the motion. So sometimes you may even need to back it off about a quarter turn and then put a little dot of glue on the back of the threads. But with that, the valve gear is now assembled to the engine and it should be ready to run. Now before running the valve gear, it's of course important to make sure all the different parts are oiled so that they'll work as smoothly as possible. Just a little drop in each joint is all it needs. And now with everything oiled, let's hook it up and see how it all works. And if all is done well, it should work nice and smoothly. Just a little bounce there, but overall, that looks pretty good. So that completes the valve gear, and for the next video, we'll work on the boiler, tender, and some of the detail work.